What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. If you need anything from pre-workouts to protein to really two of the favorite supplements I take every single day, which is focused and rested, you can go ahead and get it over at their site. With my discount code, pin comment, best promotion you'll find with Weeble Open Account. They'll just give you some free stocks, get trading, and making money in the stock market, guys. Going to go over my Madden beta impressions. I know this is kind of a much-anticipated video, so I wanted to start with the positives. Quarterback has a quick release, especially considering on which quarterback you select. The steerable catching really does shine this year, and that kind of factors into the third one here. The leverage and speed matters. I think when you have more user control, you're going to notice that. Uh, the screen game seems to be a lot more crisp this year. Change of direction for users. Again, I think going back to more user control, having that final thing here off formation seem more viable. When you let us have more control of the player, we feel like we can do more. We have access to more plays, both offensively and defensively. On to the negatives. User speed, still too slow. We really can't react the way that we want to. And and then there's there's film study. Film study ability. Film, film study wasn't in this year's Madden. That's weird. Why would I... Zones are bad. Zone drops are reset. Defense reaction. Yeah. Guys, oh wait, this isn't even my this is not my Madden 23 beta thoughts. This was this was another YouTuber's thoughts from the Madden 2022 beta. I'm so guys, I'm so sorry. I normally don't make mistakes like this. But it, it looks like what I've done is I, I've actually taken another YouTuber's overall first thoughts of the Madden 22 beta and then confused them with the Madden 23 beta. That's that's so weird that I would do that. But that's kind of like the whole point, guys. It's just the beta, and the same things get said over and over each year. Let's go through some tweets together, shall we? And I don't care about any of these people personally. I'm just interested in how they feel about a football game. So let's not even start to venture down that road. Yes, I know it's just the beta, but it's a better version of Madden coming. Home field advantage. Players look and move realistic. It actually feels next-gen. From there, we want to focus on a comment through Tread, who says, Madden 22 isn't too terrible. Like, I actually enjoy playing this one. Even though it's a beta, some tweaks, but I feel like it's good. I mean, you can go for yourself and just search and look at people's past thoughts on the beta and then ask yourself if that reflected how you felt about the game in general. We'll get to that at the end, but Little Uzi Burt just wrapped up his first bit of playing the Madden 22 beta, and he wants you to know that it was a really positive experience. Player movement felt so much more refined with Madden 22. Did you guys, with your Madden 22, did you feel this way? If you didn't feel like Lil Uzi Burke did, maybe you felt more like Cardi. Because he was telling you, just go to the article, right? They've shown us all the known issues in the game. And they're going to fix it, right? We get to play the game for two weeks and find more bugs that are going to be fixed. Really felt like they were trying. Did you feel like they were trying like Cardi? I don't know. I didn't feel like they were trying last year. Goaded, I mean, a guy's goaded, right? If you're goaded, I have to trust your opinion. The more I play Madden 22 beta, the more I love it. So much new stuff added in the game. Feels much better than Madden 21 next gen. This game. This game has so much potential. You know what? Maybe Madden 22, maybe that wasn't your thing. Let's go back. Let's go back Madden 21. Because Josh here. My only complaint about the beta is playing his own defense. The AI defenders don't ever break or make a play on the ball. Also, the zone drop switch back to default randomly. Mechanics and physics feel good. Change of direction was needed 100. Like, to me, guys, here's the thing. And I said this in a prior video. The beta has gotten away from gamers giving feedback about a product to help a company improve it. And it's became more about self-promotion with beta codes, and then people bragging they're playing the game early. And you can't do both, right? You have to either have a small controlled group that you trust to give feedback, or you have an open beta where everybody plays it and just gives mass feedback. Because every single person here had different feelings than you probably did. And I know one of the number one critiques people will say is, but it's just the beta. Well, what I would offer to you is if it's just the beta, why can we go back and look at so many people's positives from the beta that seem to align with each other and they carry over into things that don't actually 
function in the game for the rest of us. So I'm not going to be the one that sits here and tells you, well, the beta is different to the final gameplay. Because I've said that for years, and people just tend to take that with a grain of salt. To me, whether it's not running the full game, whether it's not having to run off the full space needed, whether it's not having all the modes in, right? the game does tend to run a little bit better in the beta because there's less there, I guess. I don't know. But when the full game comes out, we know when that player size grows dramatically, we get two things. Number one, somebody finds something broken right away that a hundred people could play for hours and never find. Right? That That's just mathematics and percentages, right? And number two, we start to see these horrendous plays that the game is capable of, and then we mentally connect it to the gameplay we have that's awful, right? So it's so quick to change that sentiment from, hey, here's a couple channels that have the game, here's a couple content creators that have the game, and we're going to give you our positive thoughts, and then you read those and say, hey, this person that I trust, if they're telling me this game is great, if they're telling me all these changes are there and they're playing the game right now, well, then I'm going to be excited to buy it. That's what I wanted to hear. That's what I've been needing to see. Oh, they are showing me footage. They are writing articles that show these things have changed. Well, that's all that I need. Where's my money? Sign me up, right? And then when you get the game and you realize, hey, some of those things, maybe they're not the way you wanted them to be. Some of those things maybe aren't changed as dramatically as you thought. Or in some cases, maybe those things... Going back, very specific, by the way, to Mad 22, like Film Study aren't even there when the game releases. That puts you in a predicament as a customer to say, okay, who misled me? Did I mislead myself by trusting another person's opinion to buy this game? Or did EA mislead me by giving the copy of the game to someone, letting them put something out, and then matching their promotion to what was being said? The reality is, right now, the beta is a mess. The feedback is overwhelming for EA to do anything. And you're always going to be able to find people, even back to two years ago, with this tweet here from Josh, that will reiterate the game has improved, when we all know, over the last two years, it hasn't. They're not going to rebuild the game. And that's truly what needs to happen for the game to be better. There's a reason why people right now are sharing all pro football footage that makes Madden look ridiculous. Because that is a game built from the ground up to simulate football. EA does not have that. And they can try to put as much technology, they can create as many words, they can make up as many labels as they want. But until someone there at EA actually sits down with programming code and does real work, hard work, it's not going to change. And I got news for you. Former practice linemen don't leave the NFL with programming knowledge. People from our community don't leave the community making videos about franchise modes or doing mock-ups with Photoshop and know how to program. And that's what's needed to make this game truly better. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. You know I will be back in a week with more commentary.